My second entry to the 2017 Basic 10-Liner Game Competition is an adaptation of a 1976 arcade game called Interceptor, made by Tomohiro Nishikado of Space Invaders fame and released by Taito. I learned about Interceptor in the book Armada by Ernst Klein, so I was researching it to see if it was playable on MAME. It turns out it's a discrete logic game, and no one has yet to capture the schematics. It might end up being lost to time. Here's a clip of the original gameplay from a 1980s Tato laser video disc. The objective is to maneuver the enemy fighters into your crosshairs and shoot them down. The fighters can come in pairs and are flying left, right, and straight and level. They can even fly out of range of your guns. Three important visual features are the plastic overlay with the dark cockpit framing, the high resolution white on blue graphics, and the large text at the bottom displaying a timer in your score. There are sound effects for engine noise, firing, and explosions. I tried to reproduce the look of the game. I used Atari's blue hue with three luminance values for the light blue field, the white planes and target, and the dark blue background. The dark blue is also used to draw the cockpit framing, which in the original was created by a screen overlay. The airplanes are drawn with player missile sprites, and their priority is set so that they appear to fly on top of the blue sky field, but behind the cockpit framing. I drew everything at half resolution to use double wide sprites and to get three colors. I also had to compromise on the projectiles. I couldn't animate them within the 10 line basic limit, and besides, the speed wasn't fast enough to make it worth it. Instead, solid lines flash up on the screen. But leaving out the animation let me add in the sounds for the engine, which pitch changes if you are ascending or descending, the gun, and the explosions. When there is an explosion, I flash in a dark blue sprite with a random bit pattern, which is created by pointing to a bunch of memory mapped OS registers. The idea to use existing memory for the bit pattern came from Yara's Revenge on the Atari VCS. Doing this saves a couple dozen characters in the code. If you ever played the original Interceptor, please leave a comment about your experience below. Thanks for watching!